Joshua here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing part 3 of Finding Paradise. If you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, go to my channel. With that being said, I'm not going to say any more, more intro, I'm just going to, let's dive right in. Let's see. We're back in her, his mind. So we are in Cullen's mind. We found him, his wife's asleep, and he looks out on the balcony of this apartment. So they are in an apartment building. Oh! He disappeared. This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Hmm. Note, unstable copy. How's everybody doing today? The winter storm has blown through. Everything's good. I had the house set at 70 because I freeze to death, but it's okay. Hmm. Where's Colin? Why did it just turn... Do you see the colors changing? It's like it's changing from green to, uh, like a sepia, sepa, 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 I already you say that. That's locked. Real quick, was he in the office? I wasn't paying much attention. <clears throat> kind of takes me a second to get into the groove whenever I'm playing. I don't do a playthrough before I start recording. I just... You guys just get to see it raw. Raw, real, and live. Hmm. I can't even go over there... Portions of the rooms are kind of distorted, too. You can't go over to some of the corners. I mean, this is a memory, so... And everything's grainy looking. Ooh, I didn't pay attention to those. Whoop, nope, 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 nope. Ah, crap. It's still full of books here. He must have cleared, cleared it very recently then. I swear I can read. Goodness. <clears throat> that one odd book left on there. Hmm. And it's missing here. An antique dust-covered mirror. What is this? Books, boxes. Nothing to click there. And that's a dead end. Oh, we can go outside. Well, I guess there's nowhere else to go. Uh, pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. No, it didn't. Dude's so old, he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well, oh, hey, look. Looks like he's reading something. And the lights are on him. Target acquired, let's go. Oh, I thought you forgot. <laughs> nope. She changed her looks real quick. Ugh, man. He has to change his back too, thanks. Turning on entity interaction. Why does it sound so creepy? Colin? He has something in his hand. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. I'm a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Haitian. Hatton? Oh, Dr. Manhattan. You're Dr. Neil Watts. Oh, how did you know? 
your name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin. Your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Heh, <laughs> fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're... they're... right? <laughs> yeah, but they aren't uh, prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You're the most recent slice of Cullen that we can load up. And the only relative reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good, I'll keep the your state saved so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run a save on his state. Yes, your highness. <laughs> now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories, connect your timeline, and then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that, have, that <clears throat> connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we can jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know that what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet, let's move. This momentous barrier shattered by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. We'll need to charge it up first. Prepare, not yet. Let's see, it looks like we can go... No, never mind. I cannot call the elevator. However, there is a door over here, and it will not let us go. Let's see if we can go back into the apartment. Nope. Looks like there's only uh, one way for us to go. So let's go. Oh boy, mini games. Memories go the f farthest when linked together. Was that what I was supposed to do? Ah. 
and get that little guy out of the way. Um, are we going now? Activate. Okay. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Here we go. Deep into Colin's memories. Oh, who was that? <clears throat> Did you see that person just like run up behind him? There's Sigmund Corp. The two people in the lab coats. Wait a minute, this place. This is the Sigmund's guest house. Ah, where they wine and dine the, the geezers into signing up for service. Sure been a while since we visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last year too. Let's check it out. Explore and interact to find memory orbs. Okay, let's see. Can we cross the street? We sure can. There's snow on the other side, nothing on the other side. You can go up. Hmm. Hmm. I see something over here. Who's this? What are you? What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. Mmm. Something very lonely about Mr. Collins. Mr. Reed. Huh. <laughs> Must be nice to have this much money to do something like this before you die. Am I right? Alright, who are you? Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Okay. Oh, this music. Oh. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? I would love some. You must have come a long way to get here. I need to go back home soon. I just like to inquire about your services. See, I told you I can read. Give me a minute. Let me get warmed up. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. There's so much <laughs> to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there, once upon a time. Oh, I need to get back home soon. This photo is taken from a stage perspective. From the stage's perspective. Stage's perspective. Examining uh, not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm going to take a nap. Huh. <laughs> it's not so bad. At least we get it done faster and go home early. If you'd like to choose uh, fame and riches... Is your last wish considered done? If you'd like to choose, oh, okay, never mind. I gotta dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper, go upstairs. And here's the last memory. You see, our services is quite simple. You tell us your wish, we make it happen if you believe in yourself enough. I'm just kidding, Mariah Carey. Fame, wealth, Unriched goals and secret desires, you name it. We're your genie, Colin. What is your wish? 
So if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> he even laughed. That's gonna be me as an old geezer here in like 10 years. <laughs> you know, I've done and seen a lot of it in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in a blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still an empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived my life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets? I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live a fulfilling life I wanted, but I want you to do it without changing anything I've, gone, I've been through. You don't want us to change anything? Colin? changing that things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. Mm. So I ask again, what do you want your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of my life with my family intact. Hmm. So you want to weave specifically from your contract. Hmm, wave. With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of result. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Hmm. Colin's wish. Try not to change anything, and we have free reign over his fate? What kind of last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Uh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. Oh, jeez. We're their best people, Eva. Booyah! <laughs> Actually, about that. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go get the memento. Probably wasn't supposed to be us. It was probably supposed to be someone else. What a waste. Just sitting here looking pretty. Best docs in the house. Booyah. You pick the right people for the job. Oh, well, let me talk to Eva. Oh, just one more thing. Please don't tell my family. I don't want them to think that I'm not content with how things are. Well, obviously, if you hire them, they're going to think that. <laughs> Why would you hire a company to come in and fulfill your last wish if you weren't happy with something in your life? <laughs> They already know that. <laughs> Duh. I don't recall the fireplace looking like that. Ooh. Aha, memento found. Gonna break it. Pew. Pew. 
You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the day, <laughs> you kept on yelling dumb juvenilities when shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadoken or Kamehameha or whatnot. <laughs> it's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh, mm-hmm. Prepare the memento. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Let's just do a little. Oh, is that all I had to do? Okay. It's a, uh, it's one of those, um, English-looking British hats. I forget what they're called. Oh, excuse me. If you know what they're called, please put it down in the comments. Oh, when his son comes. Okay, I really don't know why it keeps cutting that off on the top. Um... I better head out just before, but before I forget. Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. What? I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. That's not going to give you a headache. All right, all right. I'll wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. <laughs> Cute. Hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Oh, listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see. She's single and, oh my god, my parents, my mom especially, used to try to do that to me. Look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. That's good boy, good boy. So... You guys gonna go back in to feeding the ducks and, or something? We wouldn't have to resort to that if you visited us more often, you little beetard. Aw, but that's... But that hat is 100% cotton. Well, alright. You're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep uh, being overlord of the ducks. I wish my <laughs> family got my jokes as much as they did. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. This is my kind of humor. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. Don't stay out too long this time of the year. Nice little car. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. <laughs> Jeez. What's wrong with Jenny anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Hmm. <laughs> Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. Is that a phone? What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set him up. <laughs> Matchmaker. <laughs> Don't do that. He's driving. Do it after he gets home. <laughs> she is condoning it. Good call. <laughs> Make sure to include some pictures too. Goodness gracious, the good ones with lighting coming from the side. They know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do they know so well? No words. No receipt. No received regret. No grandkids. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Send the pics with no duck face. Yep. Oh my gosh. Why is he doing a duck face? Send her some pics of Asher too. 
The ones where his eyebrows are on point. Got it. What the heck? These two are so... My parents would never think of things like that. So, are we gonna go look for pictures or what? ASMR channel soon to come. It's gonna be sushi and sake eating catnip. <laughs> There's the ducks. I feel like there's just something hidden behind these tires. You know what I haven't done for a while? Save. Oop! The ducks. Oh! There's two ducks. Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. Wish there was a whole flock. <laughs> Note, ducks. I don't believe there's anything worth reading on the notes for, you know, ducks. They quack things up. Oh my gosh. Colin wanted grandkids, yeah, to die happy while changing as little as possible. Yeah, so there's nothing really of importance in the notes. Other than maybe a couple jokes. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Who are these people? Bonnie, my granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing big so fast. I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. Time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't even realize how old I was getting in until I broke my other hip. Oh, gosh. Word of advice. Don't go breaking your hip. <laughs> yeah, I've been lucky on that <laughs> front so far. Seriously? <clears throat> I shouldn't even be out right now. Goodness. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a big old loose bones rattling around in there, I tell you. <laughs> just clanging, 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 clanging. <laughs> How are you even standing up? Goodness gracious. Was there a note for that? <laughs> okay, we can't walk past. But I can't get through there, so I'm going to have to go back inside. Oh, I can't go back inside. So I'm missing something. Oh, there's his wife. Did I not see her before? Was she there before? What's this? They're a call card. I printed out another. Sigmund Corp. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days, I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Hmm. Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their services? See, this is exa exactly what I said. Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Oh, listen to that music. Not that it'd be related to you two, anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. Hmm. I won't forget about you. Aww. Oh, that's getting you right in the heartstrings. Hey. Hmm? <clears throat> I think I forgot about bringing duck food. Huh? Me too. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. I knew there was some kind of tension. I mean, I'd understand it if Vance wanted to go through this kind of procedure, and I'd be like, hmm? You weren't happy with my life? 
You better not forget about me. No. You know, uh, she could always sign up for Sig Corp or uh, for a, a life where Colin never signed up with Sig Corp. True. Har har. There we go. Let's crack this memory. The Freebirds games always has good music. You can download it on um, uh, Steam, and I think they have it on Spotify and Apple Music. If you guys want to hear their music, just download it. Oop, where's the, uh, where's the memento for this one? I bet you this is the memento. Yep. Alright guys, I'm going to stop it right there. Next time we're going to dive into that one. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. When we come back, we're going to dive into these memories. Um, if you all like the um, series, please uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll see more from me. Um, also, after this uh, game, we're going to do To the Moon, which is the, the um, prequel to this game. Sorry I didn't play it in order. I didn't know at the time. But... As always, just be a decent human being. Joshua out.